Okay. Hey guys, we're here for another page in our December daily journal, positive affirmation journal. And if you're watching this part of it and you're hearing me talk, it's because you're over on Patreon and I wanted to give you all a fully talked through version of doing a page in my journal. So we're going to always start off with um, or at least most of the time, sometimes I forget. <laughs> We're gonna try to start off with pulling a positive affirmation card, um, keeping in mind as we're pulling the card, as we're mixing the cards in the bowl, um, sending it out there to the universe. Where do I need to focus my energy? What positive um, quality or affirmation do I need to be focused on? What do I need to bring into my life right now? and just in general or to help combat the stress of what's going on um, what do I need to focus on um, and keep all those thoughts in mind as you're mixing the bowl and picking a card and so then let's pick a card confident well that's something I have trouble with confidence I know some of you might doubt that but it's actually true so that's our card confident put that there and I'm going to Go into my stickers that match and just quickly up oh, there it is right there find it right on top that can't be an accident I don't believe in coincidence so we're gonna have those right there as we um, work on in our book and on our next page um, using um, matte finish paints and glues in here so there should be little to no issue with pages sticking together and if there are it's because I didn't let things dry enough before I close the book which is you know a big possibility all right so we've got this open to this page the first thing we're going to do of course is put the date on it December 6th um I have really been enjoying putting something sort of behind the date focal point I've got you can't really see it on the camera, but I've got bits and pieces like surrounding me all around. My, my desk is literally covered in stuff. That's okay. I'm gonna look for something. Oh, maybe this. Oh, and this. What if I did this? Yep, yeah, I like that. All right, so let's put Let's just put that there right now and let's get these stuck down. I've been using either a glue stick or tape runner to stick things down. Something quick and easy and semi dry or dry because this is a moleskin cahier and the pages are thin. You can do a little bit of wet media on it, but I mean very little bit. For the most part, you want to not do that because um, the paper can't take it. Okay, and then we're going to stick this on here. And then we're going to take a gift card and push it in. And that's a good jumping off point. Yeah, I like that. All right, then we're gonna grab one of our to-do lists. Um, I wish I could find these for you all, but I can't. These, I'm pretty sure these were from a Target dollar spot bin. Um, there are other to-do sticky notes out there. And of course you could just take a piece of lined paper and um, make something that works for you. Um, now these Christmassy bits are from a Tim Holtz ideology, what is it called, ephemera pack. It just says Christmas snippets, which I bought specifically for doing this project because you know, I'm that person. <laughs> so I'm thinking put that there. I will have to glue it down, of course. But that might be nice. Thinking if I started off by using the snippets, I should keep using the snippets. I like to have a color theme in mind. Ooh. Using the hand might be good. Yep, I like that. Okay, so let's get all that glued down, shall we? All right, first let's glue down these little ticket things. 
Now, the trick with um, any glue stick, but especially the Yoohoo, is just be generous with the stick. Depending on the climate that you live in, you might need to glue your page and the back of whatever it is that you're sticking on. I know my friend Shannon Green has sort of a love-hate relationship with glue sticks. She's not, I don't think she's so sure she likes them. This goes on blue, by the way, but it dries clear. So that part I'm not worried about. And of course, um, I still have that confidence or confident word in the back of my mind as I'm thinking of what I want to put on my to-do list. Okay, but that glue should dry a little bit before you start writing on there. I like the way that looks and I do kind of reference back what have I done before on some of my other pages. I like to do a little bit of drawing. I of course like to use the ephemera which we're using. I do have a bunch of snowflakes, but I don't, I've been adding them to almost every page because you know, I don't know, it's a thing. I'm thinking adding a few like that one might work. And it takes up some of the blank space without making it look too busy. At least I think so. I don't know what you all think. I have a giant pile of snowflakes, which is good. The only problem is finding one that you like because literally like it's a huge, I don't know if you saw my picture on Instagram last night. Like it's a really big pile of snowflakes. I want one that's not too pink. Yeah, maybe those. I'm thinking this, this one doesn't go. I don't like that one. Let's see. Oh, maybe this one. That'll work. All right, and I think I know what I want to do for the drawing now after I did that. So we'll need the glue stick again. You could run these snowflakes through, or any of these bits through, one of the little Xyron um, sticker machines. If you have one, I do have one, fun fact. Um, I had two, I'm not sure now at the moment if I got rid of the big one or not, I, I was going to. I don't know if I followed through on that, <laughs> no idea. Um, I have one, I could use it, I just kind of find it's more trouble than it's worth. Um, I'm not a big fan of the big one. I don't use it that much. When I do use them, I use the small one. Now, when you do put these snowflakes on, just take it easy with the glue stick. Like, don't press too hard. Put plenty of glue on there, but don't press too hard because um, they're kind of on the delicate side, so. And just push it into the glue. There we go. I'm going to take my favorite drawing pen, drawing utensil, a Bic crystal. And I think what I'm going to do is just draw some hot more holly. Mess messy sketches, not anything like super neat and tidy. Which is good because I messed up right there. It's okay, I didn't mess up, I did it on purpose. <laughs> you all can attest to the fact, right? It's kind of a miracle I'm doing this. Um, anything that sort of resembles what it's supposed to be because I just realized I'm doing it without my glasses on. <laughs> I have reading glasses for those wondering. Okay, and then the, I'm gonna take some, we'll put those on while I'm thinking about it. Um, these are colored pencils. These are just Crayola colored pencils. They're nothing fancy, nothing expensive, just Crayola. They work for what I want them to work for.
I don't use colored pencils enough to like have a set of Prismacolors or anything. I used to own Prismacolors, I sold them. They're not my favorite. I'd rather just use the Crayola. I'm gonna add a little bit of this blue, which I've been using in this journal as sort of a shadow color. Again, I'm just, I'm being loose and messy about it. I'm not. being neat about it. This is about focusing on the positive, releasing all that negative, letting it go, having fun while you're doing it. This isn't about being Picasso or anything. So right there you can tell that glue is kind of still wet because the pencil doesn't want to dry o draw over it. So you kinda, I'm kind of having to force it, which is fine. darker red I'll use as a shadow color. So for me, the next step is going to be still thinking about what's going to be on the to-do list, but while I'm doing that, um, finding a quote for the page. So a lot of my, well, almost all my work has words on it. And I like to use quotes on my page. So I just go to whatever browser you have on your device that you're using, in this case, Safari. And I'm gonna type in the word that I picked, which is confident. And then quote and see what pops up. So I find that I find quotes that I like on two different websites that usually pop up all the time, which is goodreads.com and confidencequotes.com, uh, brainyquotes.com. So we're gonna go to Brainy Quotes. And then I literally just scroll down the list till I find one that resonates with me for whatever reason. I like this one. Kindness in words creates confidence. Kindness in thinking creates profoundness. Kindness in giving creates love. Lao Tzu which I'm sure that's not how you pronounce his name, or her name, I'm pretty sure it's him, but anyway. So then I'm going to write the quote on my page. And this is because my hand was sticking to the glue, which is still partially wet. Okay, I've got that on there. I can put the phone aside. Now we're gonna work on our to-do list. So the to-do things that come in mind would be And then I'm gonna check them all off. Because we're trying to do all those today and or be all those today, yeah? I like that, all right. And then I usually have something that I write that is inspired by what's going on, plus we have to add our words somewhere. So I'm thinking I want the word over here. We're going to take this word and we're going to set it aside and not put it back in the bowl so that next time we don't 
pull the same word over and over again, that we can pull a different word. I am kind of wondering if I want to create, do I want to create a tip in? I don't know if I want to for this page. Maybe for the next page. I have this paper though that kind of goes with the stickers. I mean, the Tim Holtz stuff. Y'all knew what I meant, right? Is there any paper in here that appeals to me? For this page, all this paper, a lot of this paper appeals to me, but does any like stick out for this page? Like maybe that one. I like the idea of using this traditional December daily journal as something that we're not forgetting about Christmas, we're not forgetting about the holidays, but we're acknowledging that they're gonna be different than they've been, that they're gonna be unusual and that we are gonna make it through and we're gonna be able to cope and we're gonna be fine. I think I'm gonna tear it. piece of lined paper that I think will work. Yeah. Do I, maybe I need some more snowflakes because you know, they're cheery and all. Lord, now I'm gonna have to find more snowflakes I like. Holy cow. Maybe, oh, this one. Those colors don't go together like at all, so I don't know why I like it, but it makes me smile, maybe because it doesn't match. I don't know, but it's good. It's all good. We'll make it work. Oh, maybe that one. Maybe these white ones. I have some that are just white. Yeah, that, that actually works. Okay. I'm good with that. Before we put any of it down, and we can put it like our little word, actually, up here. Okay. Let's get these off of here and this off of here. Let's glue these down. Again, the glue goes on blue. Don't freak out, it dries clear. And you can get Yoohoo, I use Yoohoo glue predominantly. Um, you can get Yoohoo glue that's already clear and it stays that way. I like the blue because I can see where it's going. So while that's drying just a little bit, I'm gonna take my little piece of paper and I'm gonna write some thoughts on there.
literally just thought of that just now. Didn't plan it, don't know where that came from. I never plan it, just FYI. All right, so now we'll bring our journal back and we'll get this glued in. Sort of cockeyed and off center. Put our snowflakes in. Push everything down. Make sure like any lifted edges are glued down. And then get our word in. Sometimes I trim these words down, sometimes I don't. I'm not going to this time. There we go. So there is our page for December 6th. My thinking behind it, my process. They don't take long to do. I don't want you to dwell on and agonize over uh, about what you're gonna put on the page. This is about following your instincts and letting go of all that negativity and bringing in the light and focusing on the positive, even though it may seem like there is not much of anything that's positive, there's always something. All right, so that's it for today. I hope you enjoyed the process. Um, don't agonize over or stress too much about um, what you're gonna put on your page. I want you to try to follow your instincts and um, go with the flow on this. This is about letting go of the stress and bringing up and dotting all my eyes and bringing in all of the light. Even if it seems like there isn't much of light, there usually is some to be found. Uh, don't forget to support the free content here on YouTube and over in the Facebook art groups if you can by either joining the crew, not just for me, but for all your favorite creators. Um, support them on Patreon, shop in their Etsy shop, whatever it is. They probably have a way in their video description and if they don't, ask. Because maybe they have one, they're just not advertising. All right, don't forget to um, tag me in a post in one of the Facebook art groups if you have a question, comment, or concern or leave it down here below on the video. Um, stay safe, stay healthy, stay creative, and go out and do something nice for yourself because you definitely deserve it. And I'll see you later in the next page. Bye, guys.